Alright, this movie is going to be the first of a couple that are going to go through the four-step solution to solving the comparative advantage and gains from trade problem. So what I'm going to go over in this video is just looking at the information that's given to you. It'll usually take place in two different forms, tables, or possibly a PD, PPF graph, and that's what we'll go over today. So the first and probably the most common way the information can be shown to you is in this type of table, where it's showing you the trade-off between the goods that can be produced and those who are manufacturing them. So for example, here we have Mexico and the U.S., and they can decide to produce papayas or apples. So you see here, if the U.S. only produces apples, they can make 63, they can't make any papayas. If they want to produce 7 papayas, they can only produce 42 apples, and so on and so forth, until they completely focus on producing papayas, making 21, and they can't produce any apples. You see the same idea going over here in Mexico with papayas and apples. They can specialize in apples, or they can specialize in papayas, but whatever they don't specialize in, they're going to produce zero. The other way this can look is if we have a description of how many of the good they can produce in a day. So here, we only have Mexico, sorry, not the US, and we say how long does it take them, how many hours does it take to make one. For Mexico, it takes them one hour to make a papaya, so they can make 24 in a day. Whereas with apples, it takes them two hours to make one, so they can make 12 in a day. Now if we look back at our original information, we can see that here with the 12 and the 24, but it might look a little different if they give you this information in a different way. So the first step to solving these problems is to get your information in a table such as this. And you can translate it um, into this type of table based on the procedure I showed you here. So how many hours does it take to make one? It takes one hour, so in a day they can make 24. If it takes two hours, in a day they can make 12. You then want to draw the associated PPFs so you can get a visual representation of it. So here's a little sketch. Let's put papayas on the x-axis, apples on the y. So the maximum amount of apples the US can produce is 63. So we'll draw that intercept. The maximum amount of papayas is 21. We connect those lines and this is the US's PPF. Now for Mexico, the maximum amount of apples they can produce in a day is 12. The maximum amount of papayas is 24. We can connect those lines and that gives us Mexico's PPF. So the first step is to use the information you have to make this sort of table. Make sure you understand what's going on. Draw the PPF if that helps you. And in the next video, I'll go over calculating the opportunity cost and finding which country has the comparative advantage.